Hello, in this slideshow we're going to look at two tubs of eggplants. One was a stump pot and one was a branch pot. Now in these um, tubs, the one on the left hand side was planted with just a big stump in it with compost around it. And the one on the right was planted with compost but with some rotted logs or rotted branches that were laid that were layered up horizontally. Now these two were the best eggplants that I've ever had in many years of growing them in containers. I got a wide, a very large harvest from both of these plants over the summer. But the one in the stump pot did much better than the one in the branch pot. And I wanted to look at the roots to see what the difference was. So first, looking at the stump pot, you see that it's about three and a half inches of soil, deep soil from the top of the soil to the stump and also about three and a half inches from the side of the container to the stump. So most of the um, container volume was actually taken up by the stump with, um, not, with less volume left for the actual soil mix. Now the soil mix, when I felt it, was actually um, at the top, was actually moist but not overly wet and not dry, just about right for a plant's roots to be growing in. The bottom of the pot or the, the tub didn't have any roots growing out of it except one small root. So here we can see, here I rolled it over and we can see and I took away part of the roots so you could see the top of the stump but a lot of the roots at top were growing over the stump and in kind of moist soil but they weren't really attached to the top of the stump they were just growing over it. And I flipped it over and I rolled it out and put it upside down you can see that the bottom of the roots there's a lot of roots at the bottom of the pot that were quite white and so they were very well aerated there and those are very happy roots. Now if I looked at the sides I was actually surprised to see that there weren't um, a lot of roots on the sides of this um, pot. Usually a lot of times in containers you see the roots that go out to the sides and then kind of spiral down. That didn't happen in this case and actually that yeah you know there were some roots in the side but not a lot and the other thing that really um, surprised me was is that none of the roots really attached themselves to the stump which I had expected to happen so when I rolled it around some more basically the roots just kind of fell off like a mat and the stump came out so the roots were getting I think getting water you know, the, the stump was actually keeping a very even moisture throughout the whole mixture. So the mixture was actually a very a consistent uh, moisture level from the top all the way down the sides. And of course right under the stump though it was a little bit wetter. Now there was a um, portion of the top of the stump that was rotted. And in this portion of the stump the roots did go into it here. But this was actually a very small portion of the overall roots. So overall, I was surprised that the roots didn't go into the stump in general, and that it seemed that the reason that this did so well, in part, was because just that the stump really regulated the water uh, moisture of the soil mixture. It kept it very consistent, but not overly wet and not, oh, and not dry. So going to the branch pot next, I looked at this one. And this one, the top of the soil was um, a little bit wetter than in the stump pot. And when I roll this one out to again, put it upside down, you could see a lot of nice white roots at the bottom. Now, but this, but unlike the stump pot, this one, especially the bottom of the soil, was exceedingly wet. You know, here I'm squeezing it out and water is just dripping out of it. So I put it a, a, lot, of, a lot of the rotted logs in, um, or a lot of rotted branches in this pot, you know, kept, you know, retained a lot of moisture. And so throughout this whole um, tub, the water was actually much wetter. And I think that's the reason it didn't do quite as well. But it did do better than any of the eggplants that I had planted in the past. So at the end, and actually in the past, I had done very well aerated mixes for eggplants and gotten much bigger root masses. But actually the fruiting wasn't as good. So this was a surprise to see that overall the roots weren't as big as I expected them to be. And I'd seen much bigger roots in the past but less fruit in the past. So here are the two, um, you know, here's a picture of the two roots. 
Now the top one is a picture of the branch pot and the bottom one is the picture of the roots from the stump pot. Actually the stump pot roots were actually less, overall they were less in mass than the branch pot which was surprising. So actually keeping a, a constant moisture level in this case actually was even more important than I think aeration or just overall soil volume.